Hey, sled hockey community. All right, so everyone that plays the game wants to be a more efficient skater, whether you realize it or not. Uh, and the reasoning behind this is because you want to be able to skate as fast as you can go while using the least amount of energy possible, uh, which in turn will allow you to play at a better level throughout the game than you thought you ever could. So there's three factors that will affect your ability to be the most efficient skater you can. First factor is your setup. So your sled height, you wanna make sure that you have your fists barely skimming the surface when you have your gloves on of the ice. So put your gloves on, sit in your sled, kind of how you would if you were playing, and then check to see where your fists or your knuckles are dragging at. If they're barely touching the ice, you're good. You can always go higher, but that also means that you'll be off center, so uh, you just gotta be careful how high you go. Um, you also wanna make sure your sticks aren't too long and they're not too short. If they're too long, you have to come up higher and you're gonna be really working to get it over, over your hands, kind of underneath you, and then pushing out. You'll have a longer stride, but it's a little harder to do. Um, and if they're too short, then you're gonna be just kind of working overtime to get nowhere fast. So you wanna make sure, I like to make sure that when I'm sitting in my sled, the end of my stick comes to about the chin height when I'm forward. Um, so that's just where I prefer to have my sticks. The second thing is your mobility. Uh, how mobile you are, how, how well your joints are stretched out, how warmed up you are. Um, if you're real stiff in your shoulders and you don't have a lot of internal rotation, it's going to be hard uh, for you to get into a good stride because you're going to be fighting your own joints and your own muscles throughout the whole time. So um, Kelly Starrett with Mobility Wad is a huge resource. He can tell you how to loosen up, get some of that good internal rotation back, um, and, and really kind of stretch out all those muscles that, that you need to to be able to get a real good stride. Uh, and then lastly, it's just technique. So if you've never been taught before and, you, and, and you, you, know, you wanna learn how to skate, the most efficient way is to keep your hands at the tops of the sticks um, or the bottom, depending how you wanna look at it, but when you're holding them to skate at the top, very top of the stick, you wanna make sure that you're staying nice and tight, all right? When, whether I'm out here or in here, I wanna be nice and tight throughout my whole stroke uh, or stride. And lastly, it's a three count, all right? So you're going out, down, and back, okay? You're not going like this. You're just gonna burn up your shoulders doing that, and you're not, you're not gonna be able to use your muscles as efficiently. So you wanna go out, down, getting those, getting those picks into the ice, and then back, just like a tricep extension that you do in the gym. One, two, three. All right, so just to recap, make sure that you got your sled at the right height, your sticks to the length that you want them to be. Make sure you're nice and loose. Do your stretching. Get your, get your shoulders uh, loosened up. And then just focus on that technique. Keep your arms in nice and tight, whether you're out here or you're back here. And it's just one, two, three. All right. If you guys have any other questions, just leave them below the video. Thanks.